Why was Israel created? Well, no matter how much the liberal world hates it, Israel was created as a nation for Jews. With several pogroms against Jews in Eastern Europe, Jews had started migrating towards their original homeland, the land of Israel during the late 19th century itself. Ultimately, with the crimes committed by the Nazi Germany, the level of migration of Jews to Israel went up drastically. Such waves of migration were described as alias and ultimately Israel was formed as a Jewish nation to answer Europe's Jewish question. However, Israel seems to be losing its basic essence and Jewish character. In fact, it may not even be a Jewish country anymore. Hi and welcome. This is TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Siddharth. And in this video, I will explain how Israel is losing its basic essence and Jewish identity. Let's begin. The Al-Aqsa compound dispute is in news once again. And this time, the Israeli authorities as well as the Israeli judiciary seem to be taking a patently anti-Jew approach. The routine argument of maintaining public order is once again being used to undermine Jewish interests. The Haram al-Sharif or Temple Mount is central to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict with Palestinians fearing Israel may one day seek to assert further control over it. Presently, Jews are allowed to visit but not pray there to avoid provoking tensions. Under the status quo affirmed in 1967, only Muslims can pray within the Al-Haram al-Sharif, also known as the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound which consists of 14 hectares of land. The mosque is built atop the Temple Mount, the holiest Judaism site in the world built by King Solomon. The first temple was destroyed in 586 BC by the Babylonians and the reconstructed temple known as the Second Temple was again destroyed by the Romans in 70 AD. Yet, the site of the temple remained as the venue of Jewish prayers. Well, as for Muslims, the Al-Aqsa Mosque is the third holiest Islamic site in the world. According to the Quran, Prophet Muhammad had landed on the top of the mount on route his journey to heaven. Today, the Temple Mount is administered by an Islamic waqf, but Israel controls the access to the disputed venue. Al-Aqsa is presently governed by an Islamic trust and thousands of Muslims regularly pray there, whereas Jews pray at the Western Wall, which sits below the Al-Aqsa Mosque and is considered a remnant of the Second Temple destroyed in 70 AD. Arye Lippo, an Israeli rabbi, had prayed at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound last month. So, the Israeli authorities imposed a two-week ban on Lippo's entry to the compound last month. However, on Tuesday, an Israeli magistrate court held that prayers by Jewish worshippers at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound could not be regarded as criminal act if they were silent. The court also observed that the Israeli rabbis' whispered prayer did not violate police instructions. This should have ended the debate for the Israeli authorities and they should have proceeded to implement the magistrate court's verdict. In fact, the court decision was a license for the Naftali Bennett government in Israel to take on Hamas which controls Gaza and acts as a self-appointed guardian of the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. However, Bennett is a weak prime minister unlike his predecessor Benjamin Netanyahu. Bennett, who is himself a right-wing politician, leads a rainbow coalition supported by the left and the Ram Party led by Arab leader Mansour Abbas, who happens to be sympathetic towards the Palestinian cause. Therefore, Bennett simply cannot go ahead and uphold Jewish interests. The Bennett government seemed desperate to restore the ban on prayers by Jews at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. In fact, the Israeli police appealed the court decision amidst vociferous protests by the Palestinians. In the appeal case, Jerusalem District Court Judge Arya Romanov upheld the ban on Arya Lippo. The district judge observed that the police officers had acted within reason. He wrote, The fact that there was someone who observed prayer is evidence that his prayer was overt. The judge also added, I restored the decision of the police commander. The fact remains that there is no Israeli law prohibiting Jewish prayers at Temple Mount and the sweeping ban on such prayers is a matter of administrative convenience. In 1967, Israel had captured East Jerusalem where the disputed compound is located. Yet, Jordan continues to act as the custodian of Islamic sites in the historic city which ultimately dilutes the right of Israel's Jewish majority. Had Benjamin Netanyahu been in power today, he would have used renewed tensions over the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound to decimate Israel's number one enemy, that is Hamas. However, the Bennett government has chosen to punish Jews instead. This really creates a sense of chaos over Israel's fundamental character and suggests that the West Asian country is losing its Jewish identity. 